I'm back here with Maria and I'm just feeding her a little bottle. She's been so thirsty. And so I thought I would use this opportunity to share with you a couple hacks that we have found very helpful in prolonging the life of our baby live disposable diapers. Here you go, Maria. You're almost done. She's so thirsty. There, did you finish? Let's see, almost done. Couple more sips. I'll just set you down here for just a minute. As you might know, back around Christy's birthday, she received a baby go bye-bye, and she also received this large pack of, it's an 18 pack of uh, Baby Alive diapers. And there's disposable ones, and this is a very large pack, and she was so excited. You can use them for a drink and wet, for the Play-Doh, snack and dolls, and it's a wonderful pack. But of course, 18 diapers, at least in our family can go pretty quickly. And so, here Marie, I'll keep on feeding you. Um, so we have come up with a couple ways to extend the life of our diapers. And maybe you did this too. And if you do, let us know. You might have other hacks that you can share with us and our Baby Alive friends. But we thought we'd at least show you what we've done that has helped us um, just have more fun with our diapers and prolong their life. Okay, there she is. Marie did excellent. Are you all satisfied now? I think she is. She spilled a little bit on her dress, but that's okay. And so the first thing that we're going to show you is, as you know, after they drink the water, they need a diaper change. And I can feel that this diaper is pretty wet. These new baby live diapers aren't that um, good at absorbing a lot of water, but they do a fairly good job. So we'll take this off and I'll show you what we'll do with it. Okay, so here's the diaper and it's all soggy, very soggy. I don't know if you can tell. Um, very squishy. And instead of just throwing this away because it's wet, what we do is we carefully put the tabs in and then we take it to the sink and I'll show you what we do there. Okay, so here we are at our sink and we have this diaper and I just squeeze all the water out into the sink like that. And so all the moisture that can be squeezed out is squeezed out. And then we have a diaper here with the tabs in and it's not dripping wet anymore. But it's still definitely wet. You wouldn't want to keep this in a closet. It could get moldy and so forth. So the next step we do is Welcome to our laundry room. So in here we have a drying rack where I hang towels and so forth. And I just get, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera, but I just get a clothespin, here little guy. I get a couple clothespins actually. And I clothespin this out as soon as Christy's done with playing with it and it's all wet and I've squeezed it up, I come down here and I hang up her diapers. And it's very simple to do. It just air dries seriously. It might take a day or two, depending on the humidity and, and your air. Um, but I make sure that it just hang dries and it dries completely. And it actually dries out really well. So Christy has a little spot. She puts them for me on a counter and I know to hang them up because they're all squeezed out. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's all dried. So I'm back here with a diaper that was used, squeezed out, and hung to dry. And it dries out really well. I've been really impressed. You can see there's a little color there. I must have used some colored water. Um, but it dries really well. And we reuse and reuse these diapers I don't know how many times. By being really careful, though, to squeeze them out and hang them. We don't want them to get moldy because if they do stay wet, they will get moldy. But you can reuse them and reuse them, and they're awesome. Okay, so the second hack I want to show you is has to do with the sticky tabs here. You will find that after you reuse your diapers over and over again, like we have, that the sticky tabs no longer are sticky. They lose that stickiness. And instead of just throwing it away at that point, we actually do something to help us use them even longer. This is where Marie comes in again, and we're going to put a clean diaper on her. You can see that I have her diaper on here, and this diaper has truly like lost all stickiness. And so what I do is I bought a 99 cent roll of double-sided tape. And I take a little bit of this tape, just one little piece, and of course double-sided tape is sticky on both sides. So I just stick it right here, and it sticks. Let's see here, put your hand up there, Marie. There you go. Okay, and look at, it sticks just perfectly because it's double-sided. So, we'll do that to the other side. These 
this sticky double-sided tape. Let me put it on this side and pull it over. There we go, she's got a nice new diaper on and amazingly it has many, many more times of being able to be used between those two hacks. And you might have some hacks that you can share with us down below. We would love to learn. We um, like to play with our dolls. We like to be careful and frugal and not waste things. So share any tips you have, we would love to learn. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed and share this video with your friends if you help, found it helpful. We love coming up with fun videos and stories and also fun tips like this video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. So we will see you next time. Can you say bye, Marie? Bye! Now, Ethan doesn't usually cry, but sometimes babies cry. Mm -hmm. One thing I've learned about babies is that they really like gentleness. But there are also five other things they really like that we learned about when we took a class before Toria was born. Toria, did you know we did these five things for you when you were a baby? And it made you so, so happy. And you didn't cry nearly as much when we did these things. And just a year ago, I was at a party, a Christmas party with several other people, and there was a little tiny baby there. And that little tiny baby was very, very small and very loud. She was crying so, so much. And I did some of these things for that little tiny baby, and she stopped crying. So would you like to know what the things are? Mm -hmm. The first thing that babies like is they like to be swaddled. Do you know what it means to swaddle? Can you hand me that blanket back there and I'll show you how to swaddle? Let's try swaddling real quick here. We're gonna do it in a very quick way. I'm just gonna take the baby. Now this is not how we always swaddle, but this is how we'll do it this time. You can also get little swaddlers. And we're gonna fold the blankie so that the baby's arms are tucked in, the baby's legs are tucked in. We're gonna fold it this way. And now the baby is swaddled. <laughs> So the baby feels all comfy and snug and warm. And the next thing we're going to do with the baby is turn him on his side. So these are five S's. He likes it like that. And he likes to be swayed a little bit, just gently, not hard. Really likes the gentleness. So we're going to sway him. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say something to him. The next S out of the five. We've done swaddling, we've done side, we've done swaying. Now we're going to do shh, shushing. That's the next S that he really likes. And if he still is sad and crying, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to let him suck. Here, let's have the pacifier. We're going to put that in his mouth. Usually little boys have a little blue pacifier maybe, but this time it'll be a pink one. <laughs> and we're going to swaddle him. We're going to put him on the side, we're going to sway him, we're going to shh, and we're going to have a passy for him to suck. And if you do all five of those things, it's almost 100% certain that he's going to be quiet and happy. But sometimes you have to do all five of those things or else he might still be sad. Babies also like, I mentioned they like gentleness, but they also like hugs and kisses and smiles and they like to eat. Yes, We're going to do a bottle. Let's show them the bottle, though. What does this have in it? It has some nice, tasty milk. Very well, happy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.